Home mail delivery ended for tens of thousands of Canadians this week in favour of community mailboxes, a move that's even prompted a legal challenge. Tonight, we look back at Canada's Postal Service. Each working day of the year throughout Canada, the post office handles about 10 million pieces of mail. The men who face the gigantic task of sorting this mass of mail must know the names of 13,000 cities, towns, and villages in Canada. In the last decade, its reputation for quick, dependable service has been smashed by literally hundreds of labor disturbances. Its deficit has risen to an astonishing $600 million a year, and its automation program is so far behind schedule, no one can estimate when it'll be finished. Canadians are losing patience. They're increasingly fed up, and so am I. The post office will become a crown corporation. In rural communities across Canada, the post office is more than a place to buy stamps and pick up your mail, and this one is no exception. It's, it's really the center of the village. But Canada Post says it loses money. These new super boxes will replace Bernard Dunlop. There's no contact with an, uh, an aluminum box and a key. We want to have a community life. About 30 groups of angry residents from across Canada kicked off a national campaign today to get rid of super mail boxes. Anne Derrett lives in Markham, just north of Toronto. She doesn't get home mail delivery. Every weekday, either she or her husband trudges about 100 meters to the neighborhood mailbox. Derrett hates that trek so much, she helped found RAM, residents against mailboxes. RAM Mulrooney mailboxes. Well, the post office delivered something today it hasn't been able to for 30 years, a profit. Canada Post says it made almost $100 million in the past year, and it expects even bigger profits in the future. Canadians are making fewer trips to the mailbox. This is the main culprit, email, now as mainstream as a Hollywood blockbuster movie. Convincing the millions of Canadians who use it to come back to so-called snail mail won't be easy. Why would I want to mail a letter and post it then go to the mail to the mailbox? Why? Big change for many Canadians. The end of home mail delivery in urban centers. On doorsteps across the country today, there came plenty of reaction to the big changes at Canada Post. I like to have things delivered and everyone cuts back and it's so silly. Like the milkman a generation or more ago, the days of daily visits from your friendly letter carrier will soon seem like a quaint notion from another era. 